Hello everyone, I'm Mesa Close Kid, and today I wanted to tell you uh, how excited I am to go to Magic Con, which is, I do get to go this year, which is really crazy. My friend Oliver called me and said that he got us tickets, which was really, really awesome. Um, and, you know, I've wanted to go to this since I knew it was around. I always, like, I never really knew what it was. Um, long, long list of things. I didn't really know what the prices of the tickets were or anything. Um, anyways, so I finally get to go this year. Really, really cool. I'm gonna get ready to go here in around a couple hours. I'll be, you know, in the car. Maybe I'll have a video of that. I'm gonna make videos of me being there, you know, whenever something cool happens, hopefully. Hopefully that comes together well. Um, yeah, one of the things I'm looking at getting is Pure Smoke, which is really cool looking trick. Um, my friend who's taking me there recently got it, and he says he loves it, so it's, you know, I'm looking at getting it. Not entirely sure. You know, there's plenty of other awesome tricks out there. Um, hopefully I'll be able to meet Dan Sperry and Daniel Garcia, because those are two awesome magicians, and Wayne Houchin. Um, David Blend's going to be there too, actually, which is going to be really cool if I get to see him, maybe get an autograph. Um, other than that, uh, next time you see me, I should either be at the convention or driving there. Um, so once again, hopefully this comes together well. I'm um, going to have a lot of fun, I know, and I'm not going to be sleeping very much. So, with that said, let's get to the convention. Alright, so here we are. Here with my friend Oliver over here and his Wookiee. And uh, this is our room, MagicCon. This is my bed. It is really awesome. This, this is bed? This is the jacket, uh, you know, storage hanger. Unit. That's, yes, yeah, very sophisticated storage unit. I brought five jackets. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, here's the new Magic Con deck. Never before seen until now, and now, you know. I can show you what the old deck looks like. Yeah. It's really crappy. <laughs> yeah, the old ones look kind of bad. Uh, you want, and this is the cool stuff. Check out right here if I can open up this damn thing. <laughs> Mine's already open, I'll grab mine. Here's my case. No, I opened it, I opened it. Okay, back, back to Oliver. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, this is all Ganon Dave. Cuticle South. <laughs> I, I don't really know what this is, but... Hey, look, I think they're trying to look too yeah, hard. Yeah. Lip balm. Lip balm. For magic purposes. For when you're performing, you know... I don't know. You know what, I think we could actually come up with something a little better than this. Something that might work. That sounds like shit. <laughs> yeah, we're all geeks. Anyways, we're gonna get downstairs to the showroom that just opened up, with you know, cellar room, whatever you want to call it. No, that's your room. That was mine. Yeah, um, let's anyways. get it mixed up. Anyways, mixed up, and now this video is getting really bad. Anyways, gotta be in the showroom. Hopefully we'll get some videos over there. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna tell think. a really small, scary story. And then, when they turned on the light, it was scary juicy. Woo. But uh, my name is Big Buck, and on behalf of the other organizers, my brother Dan and Sid Siegel, I want to welcome you all to MagicCon 2012. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. Uh, we know many of you have traveled far. We have people from all over the world. I want to say welcome to our home state and welcome to San Diego. We have an amazing weekend of presentations ahead, but tonight we want you all just to get to know each other, uh, share your story, your passions, and uh, catch up with old friends, but make new ones too, that's important. Before I step down and get a drink, uh, I have a few announcements to make, to make. When you registered, we gave you all a raffle ticket. Hopefully you have a raffle ticket. If you haven't registered, I think you still can out there. Um, so don't miss on that because we have some really cool prizes to give away thanks to Murphy's Magic. Uh, they gave us a box or a couple boxes of just awesome DVDs and books and tricks. So you don't want to miss out. It's all free. Just uh, all we have to do is call your number and there's only 250 of you or so. So we have a pretty good chance. We have a lot of prizes. I also want to tell you about our iPhone app. We have an iPhone app this year. It's free. It's available on the App Store. So go download it if you have an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, we have our most current schedule on there. The schedule you got with your registration packet, that cool little booklet, that journal, that's actually not the most current schedule. We changed some things. So either go to our website or get the app for the most current schedule. We'll also post it on the screen um, in the morning and at the end of every event. The other announcement is tonight at 9.30, Hit the Magic 
Dragon's going to do a performance. And he is badass. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, tomorrow's event starts at 10 a.m. So to get a good seat, we recommend you get here around 9.30, 9.45. We're not sure when we'll open the doors, but uh, you're welcome to congregate out front. And you know, the sooner you're here, the closer you'll be to the front door and get a good seat. Um, I think that's all I have to say. What's the name of the app? MagicCon. Magic search for it. With Magic Magic 2012. Thank you. Magic-2012 Magic Magic is the official name of the app. <laughs> but this is only an iPhone app because you should have an iPhone. <laughs> What's up? Uh, Ace of Clubs Kid here again. I uh, just got done hanging out downstairs. Uh, I just saw Piff the Magic Dragon, which was really funny. Um, I was talking to Alex Pandrea, which was really cool. Um, yeah, and I'm just here back in the back in the room, just relaxing. My boots. Uh, I don't think Dan Sperry is here, which is kind of a disappointment. But I uh, saw Daniel Garcia um, as well. Um, yeah, and some other people that I knew, some people that I didn't know that were also really cool. Uh, Rob Zabrecki, uh, and one of the people that I knew of. Um, so yeah, it's been really fun. Um, probably not going to sleep tonight. And yeah, so that's just the latest update. Um, tomorrow they're actually going to open the, the um, I don't know what you call it exactly, but they're going to actually be selling products. Tonight they just had the books. Um, hopefully I'll be buying Pure Smoke tomorrow. Um, bright and early when that's open. Um, so that's the latest. Uh, until next time, see ya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a little package trick. It's one of my favorites. Basically, Kevin Owens speaking tomorrow. He's a really big influence on me just because 
uh, two years ago, I discovered his miniature smooth operations, and I just loved it. All these little moves and stuff, and I put a lot of this stuff together and made a reset routine. So at the time they were really big, but I also wanted to add something a little different to the resets. This is a reset. Ah, uses four tens. Or Jack. Now, I'm going to give you a little insight. As you probably know, it's a magician watch. One of the most important things to know as a magician is the difference between illusion and reality, because we're doing the magic. Now, an example of an illusion would be if I take four jacks, give them away. The illusion is they look like the one, two, three, four tens. But that's the illusion, because in reality, we still have the four jacks. But of course, if you are a magician, it's important to know the difference between illusion and reality. And that is a product of Kevin Hill. Get a... Uh, in the Denny's at... 12 something. No, 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 it's 121. Oh, nifty. Okay. So... Here we are again. My name is Zabrecki, because I got Rob's Yes, weapon. we've been talking to Rob Zabrecki. Anyways. Rob Tommy. Yep, it is one in the morning. The no best sleep. couple. Better than us. <laughs> oh, you fluffy hair, you. Alright, so, on that note, I'm Macy Phillips Kid, and you'll see me probably in the morning, if not later tonight. Actually, it is the morning. But anyways, I'm rambling now, and... Dude, dude, dude. There's hot sauce going on. I was thinking about doing some weird spellbound with this, but you weren't. Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't gonna work. Try. Okay, we're, we're, I'm not we're both. Uh, we need Mario Secchi to do that for us. Okay. Mario, he's like. Oh. We gotta find him. Anyways. Okay. Later. Alright, here we go. Ah, no. I'm trying to. Okay. Ready? Here we are. Yep. This kid's gonna be on Theory 11 before you know it. Yeah. These are under somewhere. One of them. Yeah, there he is. Ah. There. Yep. Oh my god. Hey. A professional flourisher. Watch me flourish. And this is your book that everyone else is reading but you. Because you just. And you got your Bolton brick. Oh. Ooh. For 50 bucks. 50 bucks, man. That is great. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yep. Don't put the camera on me. Steal my soul. Okay, you can't take one picture of me. Actually, it's actually recording. But nice face. Oh. Where, where'd you get that face? I want one like that. eBay. Ah, nice. I'll only sell it during Halloween. Ah, nice. Yeah, this is the heart of You're Magic Con. Really oh, you look so away. Yeah, sorry. Also, missing moves. Camera's bad news. Okay, go. So, main lobby of the hotel. Um, plenty of magicians around here. Okay. Doing moves. Lots of stuff happening with Jason England. Um, among other awesome people. So, um, see them over there. Yeah, there's, we're just walking around this random parking lot, and uh, we just found this sign moving. Not really moving, there's no grass. Yeah, it, it, there, there, there's no wind here. This is the only sign that was moving. All the other ones are stationary, and there's no one else around here, so... Just a little piece of odd for all of you. We didn't, we didn't just push that, because that would be stupid. Yes, we believe a parking garage is longer because the sign is moving where there's wind. Yeah. Of course, it's a mythological thing. Yeah, anyways, so that's that. Continue walking. Magic. Back to, the, back to the Magic Con. It's about two o'clock. So. You know the hymn song "Burning in Black." Yeah, I think he's changed the face of magic, and uh, 
We're really lucky to have him here. Uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is Cyril Kakiyama. Cyril, as you know, you've all seen him on YouTube, and he's a huge, huge star in the Japanese market, and uh, working on lots of exciting things. And let's go on market. The next two people that I have coming out are kind of the new uh, Dan and Dave Buck. They're going to be having their own convention next year, I believe. Uh, the first person is Enrico De La Vega. <laughs> And Enrico is, if you don't know Enrico, he's the uh, producer, creative consultant, and all-around guy for Zero. And he's also worked uh, independently on a number of television shows, including them. And uh, the last person is the brand new Daniel Garcia. If you don't know, most of you are familiar with Danny from his lectures and DVDs and whatnot, but Danny, if you don't know this, has worked with most of the, these guys and many other people on television helping to produce and direct the magic and the things. So, this is the crew. Have a seat, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to use the two black aces. 
No, there's something a little different. They're actually aliens. Hey, you, they are. Gonna to, you're gonna have to hold on to these, okay? okay. Hold on to these. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. I want them to probe you, okay? Keep them away from your face, your mouth, okay? Stay. Okay? I'm serious. Okay. Now, did you know every year 250 cows are abducted by aliens? No. 100% true. 100% true. We have aliens right here, okay? We just need a cow. Cow. That, that is a cow. I want you to know that this is the only cow of its kind in the pasture. That's kind of a cool idea. And then have a Take the cow. We'll put, yeah, we'll put them in about about the center of the field. You want maybe even a little lower. Okay. You're holding on to the aliens. I'm gonna take these guys. Okay. I don't want you to get hurt, man. You're kind of shaking. Now. The way the aliens they will abduct your cow is, of course, they use their tractor beam. This is what it looks like. Your card's about the bottom. Here we go. And your cow moves up to the sky. And this is the 251st cow abducted by Italy. No, but like that shootout movie. Yeah, just a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Okay, Eric Jones. Okay. Get your heart out, Eric Jones. Eric Jones. He does the better. Isn't that nice? Yes. Ian's not feeling too good, so we're going to cheer him up. All these cards. <sighs> Magic card. We got a bunch of just... These are the Fultons. We got a brick of these. And plus five. Plus, yeah, but, and we got... See, I bought two of them, and they gave us one for free, because, you know, we have to do that for everyone. Yes. Oh, yeah. this is turning into review. I was yeah. just going to say mission accomplished oh, and cool. turn it off. Yeah, and then this is, you know, four decks of those. No, I got five. Uh, you know, there's somewhere. And then we got, yeah, I brought these. We got, some awesome kid gave us these white lions because he's mm. awesome. Yeah, no, you have that one. You have those. Yay. Uh, Arcos brought these ghost decks. Yep. Oh, you know, I still have, like, or ten more decks that or I could have thrown in there. These are my favorite. I'm going to be doing a review for these soon. Um, I'm deathly ill because... These are my favorite, favorite, obviously. I bought, like, 20. Okay, yeah. So, basically, that's where we're at now. Next to the checks mix. <laughs> that's where we're at now. Um, last day, convention. Um, trying to do a routine for David Blaine, and he is very busy because everybody loves David Blaine. Uh, anyway... Rob Zabrecki, he's not too busy. He gives a shitload of hugs. Yeah, he's awesome. Rob Zabrecki. If you ever get a chance to meet him, just give him a good hug. Um, he'll go with it. And, anyways, that's that. I'm a basic clubs kid, and I... I like mean, to roll around and playing cards. cards. Nothing strange about this. Just two guys in a bed full of playing cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just ruined the video. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. I can, I can edit it out. No, I can't. I can you just picked on your toe. Okay. This, this is all getting edited out, by the way. <laughs> Mission not, accomplished. Not Like, can I play with matches while I'm filming? It's just fine. It's not distracting. Right. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it one hand. You're already recording. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm doing a little bit of hypnosis here. Um, God, fire is so much fun. It's actually a telekin telekinesis. Check this out. Got just a regular, thick, little pen thingy. Bobber. We're gonna place this on the side here. Hold on. Move it a little bit. Well, hold on to it. Sorry, sorry. It's it's hard to multitask. The pen? No strings, by the way. Oh. Bidding. No strings. I hate. I you know honestly I hate invisible thread. So 
Yeah. No strings. That's that. Now, that this is, is Oliver. You. This is me. Everyone. Tell Hold me. On. Yeah, okay. Okay, go. Which is more interesting? And I have a question. Do you like preventing forest fires? Hello, what's up, guys? Just a final closing thoughts on MagicCon. I uh, wanted to show you all the stuff that I got, and Oliver Adams is on Skype right now, so you can hear his input on this as well. It was lots of fun. Uh, it was really cool. Total blast. Total blast. Total blast, yeah. Um, learned lots of cool stuff. Saw awesome people. Garrett Thomas, David Blaine. Um, David Andy Garcia was so awesome. He, like, I offered to get him a drink, and he's like, oh, crap, I'm going to have to get a rain check. And then I offered to get him a drink the next night, and he's like, oh, this one dude already got it for me. And ah. he's like, I'd love to see your flying saucer cow trick. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then the next day, I didn't see him. Oh yeah, he. I, I showed him a uh, coin routine, but he didn't get to critique, critique it. Anyways, he's a busy man. Anyways, moving on. Um, oh, lots of fun. Me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna close. Huh, child? Apparently, okay. recording this video now. Um. Um. Try not to say um so much. I got three decks of oh, Magic Con playing cards. Uh, I bought two of them. Of course, get one just for going there, which is really nifty. Gonna sell these whenever they peak in valuableness, I guess, on eBay. If anyone wants them um, for a good price, you can contact me. I might sell you all three of them. Anyways, um... Oh, by the way, by the way, I am actually going to have a video DVD on the Muscle Pass eventually. And as a bonus, I'm practicing it right now. How to Muscle Pass a Pretzel. So, uh, <laughs> I also got a deck of White Lions um, from that awesome kid, Nick, that you saw in the video. There's lots of nifty things about this box, which I didn't even know until David Blaine explained some of them to me. Um, and, yeah, so that's really nifty. Um, I also got a deck of... I almost said White Monarchs. I don't know why I said that. Um, uh, Monarchs got these from Jason England. He just walked around with a box... Um, of Theory 11 playing cards and handing them out to everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on these. Uh, the box looks like the Holy Grail. The cards look like meh. But uh, anyways, last thing I got, during the raffle, um, I actually did win a book. Big book. Uh, it's called The Award-Winning Rope Magic of... Oh, you couldn't even hear me right there. Award-Winning Rope Magic of Francis Tabery. And there's some pretty awesome pictures in here. I'll, I'll just show you them briefly. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. Uh, let's see, really good pictures. Dude, I tell you, man. I think you should keep it, and I'll loan you this. I don't think they'd be able to see me, but I have a whole bunch of chains. Chains! And you'll notice, I have one long chain. I have one <laughs> medium chain. I have one small chain. <laughs> This is actually mine, so no one steal it, because Bill Goodwin, my babysitter, will come after you. Yeah. I haven't done rope magic, sorry, chain magic, and ever. Oh, wait, so how does this go? Wait, do you say one long chain first? Small ch No, no, no. Me then you say medium chain. Is that the move? Okay, I, I don't know. It, no, none of you can see this, so I'm sorry about that, I but... A book of yours. Uh... Yeah, Oliver's trying to do chain magic, which has been a long... No, nope, I got it. I got the move. Sorry, it's just you gotta be really strong for this stuff. Here we go. Ready? Make me big screen. I, I can't. Oh, okay. No one's gonna see you. Again, no, but look at this. How cool is it? Look. <laughs> oh, chain what? stretch. Rope magic? Look, isn't that much more impressive? Sure. <laughs> One, like that... <laughs> I'm like that. One like that. It's so smooth. Wait, where's the long one? I mean, it's the medium. Where's one. the other medium one? Oh, <laughs> um. Oh, magician jokes. Hold on. Oh, you want to hear a good magician? We're such joke? geeks. Hold on. Oh no, cutting it doesn't work. Hold on. <laughs> want to hear a good magician joke? Nope. Okay, Alex Elmsley had four kids. 
But you only ever saw three. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> Can you loan me that rope magic book and I'll do it with chains? Yeah. So, got this rope magic book. Might loan it to Oliver. Might sell it after that. Might keep it. Um, that's the stuff I got. Thank Wait, what's you. it called? I'm gonna look it up on eBay. Francis Tabbery. There's no market for it whatsoever. Um, yeah. Francis pretty... what? Tabbery. T-A-B-A-R-Y. Um, if anyone has been looking for this book, you can contact me and, um, talk to you about that. Um, really not that interested in rope magic, but anyways, that is how MagicCon went. Thank you for watching. If you stayed through the entire video, you are fantastic. Yeah, it's and $65. Yeah. So, that's that. Uh, I'm Ace Club's Kid. Goodbye. Thank you.